What's up guys, this is the Braverman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to round off where we left off, our forces have attacked Sardinia and we're about to take the city for the good of our colonial empire and as the first step onto kicking the Spanish out of the game for good. So let's crack on. There's not going to be anything too... You're not really going to be... Well, it's a conscript army, so you're not really going to be acting to fight a particularly uh, complicated or strategically demanding battle. Which is nice. Sometimes. <laughs> Good, simple battle. Okay, let's have a look at the terrain. Okay, so I'm going to put my guns on the reversed slope of this hill take advantage of the terrain somewhat. Let's make a line out of the more intact units. To be honest they're all actually pretty okay. So we've got our main battle line. The marines are going to take position on the right flank. Oh, let's give them some infantry as well. They're going to be supported by the cuirassiers. The mortars are going to follow the main battle line up with the general. Yeesh. Actually, send them over there to deal with that, those conscripts. Let's bring these chaps around to pivot against this reinforcing unit. Cavalry can intercept the general's bodyguard. Let's pivot my line to be more like this, to be a bit more universal against both this force and the reinforcing army over there. Okay, now let's start trotting. LA on my general, well, on my general. Okay, so we've got the cuirassiers going in mainly on the on the conscripts. The general I'm not so worried about. I can make these routes and they'll leave the battle almost instantly. But we must watch their progress. Unlimber, the bat unlimber my howitzers. The battle line up here against these colonial troops has been met. Okay, let's get my cuirassiers out. Got to babysit these chaps to make sure they do actually run. is coming in awesomely. See they did see they are trying. Spam clicking for a while usually works. This is the problem there's a couple of them hanging around at the back so until they actually leave this bit they'll always be tempted. Okay, make sure they run so they don't get shot at too much. Yeah, these chaps are breaking. They are against my most elite troops, so I wasn't really expecting them to... I wasn't expecting them to hold out too strongly. Like these, the general, this general, he's, is he after my... Okay, I'll take the general on for sure. 
Let's get the artillery engaging the main threat up here. It's enemy general killed. So if these chaps can make the 9th Regiment of Militia route, that would be perfect. Keep the howitzers engaging. They're not within range of them. That's how odd. Let's bring these marines back over. Good stuff. So the 79th on the flank is engaging a militia unit alone. Let's give them a bit of gunnery support. Chaps are about to meet the meat battle line head on. It's not going to be too startling you off them. Could use fancy rounds, but. It's a good shot. Let's push them up to make sure they do fall back. Push up these guys. Oh no. Keep them together as a little happy family. Come on. Then deploy my cavalry. Retarget my artillery. May as well commit my general as well. Who's that back there? Garrison line infantry reinforcement coming in. Let's take these three units to actually advance like so. Guns to engage at their maximum range. Howitzers can. Hmm. They too can face them. Okay, let's change targets so my general doesn't get embroiled in a scrap with line infantry. And like, of course, my actual line infantry, they can scrap away. Let's push these, these, guys, these guys are going to be caught, not in formation, by some elite units. Friendly fire kicking in. up time a little bit. Let's continue. This is going to be a nice opportunity for such a pretty a fairly fresh unit to actually rack up some decent experience. Especially my cavalry. Okay. 
good stuff. So that's them dealt with. Oh, enemy general killed, but these chaps are probably going to rout successfully. general got these conscripts so it's, it's all on those right in the far corner damn right of decisive um, I cannot give a deal it's a fairly inconsequential island in terms of strategy Any further orders? but the important Order. part is that we've now kicked the Spanish out of this region and I want to convert this into a military dockyard to have a dockyard more in the central med. So let's just drop a load of money on investing because if we're not going to invest our money as a benevolent colonial overlord what's the point in us having it? Okay so we're rebalancing to deal with this Spanish threat, this annoying <laughs> Spanish incursion. Um, keeping an eye on the French Let's repair this. Ah, yes, the poles. Because how many reasons are there for them to sail an army here? Sir. Where's my main fleet? Here it is, in Taranto. More than enough, more than enough to deal with these chaps. a lot of Polish troops right on the border so we're gonna to want to oh, we can't actually recruit anything we have to move Andrew Hamilton up to siege Madrid in order to have some actual effect here so let's send forces south to reconnoiter. I would love them to sally out and attack me because I don't know if I want to attack that. I mean I've got I've got one unit of howitzers and lots of pretty elite infantry but I'd rather have them attack me for a, for a round. Okay let's take my navy out. Sit them like here. So I've got two options. I can either wait for them to do something or I can hit them and sink a stack right here, right now and then deal with these or the inevitable follow-on and this is not going to go down. I think I've got to take it. Although, Poland is allied with Russia and France. As much as, I don't, as much as I don't want to let them go, I think I kind of have to. Have I got anything that can easily... Let's cancel the building of the shipyard and get this sloop over to Taranto just to make sure they don't do anything very annoying. So right now the only free port they've got is the one to hit um, Cagliari, which we've got an army there to fight them off if they do land. I don't want... I, I think I want them to be the aggressors to hopefully convince Russia and France to stay out of it. Although I doubt France will stay out of it because we own Paris, so they're probably going to come after us no matter what. But we are starting to get... Let's cancel that unit of infantry and let's build... Let's build some in Rome to act as a bit of a firefighting force. So I think I'm not, not going to attack them. Let them attack me and then they can be the aggressors and then hope oh god Fran oh no this has gone spectacularly badly wrong 
So Poland has not joined them. The French have... Oh, good job I've got my army sat near New Andalusia. It's all those armies in central France that are the concern now. But they've not moved them. Okay, why are they moving their troops? Mm. Are they gonna declare war on some of my lands in the Americas instead? We can deal with incursions. We've got the cash and we've got the troops to do it. But I need to start swinging troops to engage the rest of the French. So the Spanish have not sallied out to attack me, which is good. It's tempting to avoid attacking the Barbary States altogether and instead go straight for Morocco with my new army, with my new army, my uh, Sardinian army. There's a port in this region. Okay, so they've, yet been developed. Yeah, so they've been raiding, Select that's okay. It's annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Let's make this another trading port. Okay, so we've got, we do have our force in Philadelphia. Okay, let's get some ships. <laughs> we have an army, it's not a brilliant army, but it's enough. It'd be enough to bottle up whatever they send over here. So this raiding force is annoying. So if I send them west, ready to chase them down, send you north, maybe up to this bridge. You go join Elias. The troops stay here. Even then, can I move them out? Any further orders? So, Forward. I can move them out. Your orders, Your Majesty. Sir. So you don't think you can intercept at all because you ran out of zone of effect. It'd be lovely if I could Your entice orders, them into Majesty. fighting a. Immediately. At the ready. Because you might. Yeah, I don't think they've got any yes, my lord. movement points, so I have to do that. Mark. Like I think I still might be able to entice them into a bridge battle to the north. Okay, but, first of all, let's take my navy down here, hit Gaston Clairo. I mean, this is just a fairly... I want to fight the army, don't want to bother with the navy. Didn't lose any ships, and I'm not going to take either of the brigs. chase them down because they have no f other forces here which means we can blockade these troops in we here quite easily way. let's take the fifth rate Fleet ready. let's put the ships into Cartagena all, the all of them get your replenishment on the go as much as you can then they send Peyton Hawthorne. This was a mighty miscalculation from you, France. Let us engage your ragged pirate army, jean Mathieu Philippe Nephis. We'll teach you to try and take. But at the very least, at the very least, uh, Poland did not join in on the war, and neither did. R I don't know if Russia is a French ally, but Poland didn't join in, and that was the big major power. They are going to have a right old time attacking my battle line with just a militia and regular pirates.
Um, to be honest, I might just deploy both my artilleries together. Keep things simple. That means I can deploy the remnants of my of this army on the right. Rogers' Rangers take a position up on the hill. Um, same with my bows, actually. All my skirmishes go on this flank. Dragoons stay in reserve. Pikes stay behind the guns in case they fancy a charge. General in the centre. All of our guns focus on their unit of artillery over here. Damn, that should have that should have been a. Oh, we got a howitzer. Poor souls, look at them. They're completely ragged. Although the bandits are hidden. African musketeers. Eh, uh, slave labour employed by the French, eh? Devastating because they pack them so close together. Ah, oh, you know what? We will meet you on the battlefield. Let's march forward. We do have considerable advantages. One returning out, turn of fire. Go from Pikeman, are you? You missed. Let's move my Pikeman away from my guns in case they get a lucky hit. Yep, they've got the opening volleys off on our Hessian line. But I'm afraid, sirs. You will not be able to stand against a rigid firing drill. Against our rigid firing drills. Come on, let's advance them all the way around. Advanced flanking manoeuvre. routing the African musketeers they do not wish to die for France it seems aha here's some buccaneers they shoot the crap out of them with bows and arrows Militia, swarm, swarm, swarm. They can have a good old time with them, with those, those cavalrymen. Yeah, they broke before my chaps even got near. Let's keep a militia unit formed up here to provide fire against these guys should they return. Crashes into these buccaneers. There's some wicked cutlasses, though. Let's 
poor souls. They're just too highly strung. It's a wicked officer though, look at that. I've never ever really taken <laughs> the time to look at him. Look at that. They're engaging with their pistols. They're about to be engaged by my line. Get my art cavalry to work. Same, my general, he may as well tidy up this unit of buccaneers that's loose back here. I'm gonna take. Okay, go after the militia. I just think that's everyone. Uh, everyone except this unit of colonial militia is routed, but they will route in due course. Let's just watch some absolutely continue. Uh, there's my dragoons, there's my dragoons, my general is Come on, there's only four of them. I'm also watching my dragoons combat icon to make sure he doesn't there we go. Dragoon's combat icon is still active. Yeah, go on, try kill them as they're all as you're so close to all of their men. Yeah, you got them. Okay, remnants are all behind you. Don't want them charging, because always they'll kill their own men. Or at least my general, anyway. Oh, he's not killed any of them. A bit of friendly fire from the artillery. Oh, there they go. Oh, there, here they are, about to go. 53 poor souls. Damn right, it was a decisive victory. Your possessions gone. They've only got 800 men remaining. They're falling Forward. back into the jungle. March. We will pursue. For crown and country. Great stuff. Sir. Spanish agent. Oh, uh, you're waiting for guard artillery, I see. Let's march them up to France. They might get caught on the march and slaughtered, but if they do, meh. Francois Delville, Marc Turin, Audric de Vaudreuil. <gasps> Robespierre! You sly old dog. Awesome. So let's check out my research. Fire in advance is okay. Yep, yeah, we're not going to bother to fix that just yet. Uh, are we trading with everyone we can trade with? Yes, we are. Cool. Let's hit end turn. Come on, Bryn. Can really do with some help about now. Absolutely intercept. Victory is out. <laughs> oh, they've split up. Don't, don't intercept. <laughs> yep, they're trying to steal my tech. Poland has moved their army up to the coast. Okay, so that army to the north, I definitely want to move up to secure the... to secure the, um, the river crossing. I do, yeah, they are... Preparing, preparing an invasion. However, it will not last long. Quite a spooky enemy, especially if they declare on me, they've got a border with me near 
um, Croatia, so they can just immediately pump all their troops down into the Balkans to fight. <laughs> Look what it's done to my poor empire. So but Russia's become the new the the new Ottoman Empire. As soon as they've taken over the Ottoman territories, they've suddenly started going, hang on. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. Okay, I really don't, port will help okay, I don't like grow. so much about what's actually going on now. We need to send Elias over here to take out this marauding Spanish army. I would love to have you here. So if they move, we can slice them up. To be honest, both of these guys have got Paris reasonably well covered, except they could have run around here. This this guy's going to die. Oh, he didn't. Awesome. But I would very much... Wait to raise a new force. Sheridan, good fellow. Two units of the lifeguards. A 32 pound. Okay, don't worry about that yet. Expand the core of the army first. Because it feels like they. The Polish are in a holding pattern. They are just waiting for the for the right moment. Yeah, you might have kicked me out for now, but we'll be back. It's Britain at war with the French now. Yes, they are. The French, the Prussians, and the Spanish. Poland is at war with. All of my allies. Oh no! Oh, actually, that's that's actually comforting because that'll be where they're all going. Okay, so let's recruit a sloop. Let's bring this sloop Ship over here. Water, let's leave Sardinia open as a tempting start. target. Should people wish to take it. Drop your drop your army off the coast, thank Christ. For a minute there, I thought they were never going to be able to safely drop it off. Okay, you fall back, build up a dockyard. Good. So we have an army ready to engage the Spanish from the south. It's nice to see their armies here aren't actually doing anything useful. Especially in the light of this attack we've got going on. Settlement under siege. We don't really have... Got Marines and Grenadiers. Hmm. Okay, let's recruit some howitzers from up here to go join this army with some additional infantry. We've got our priest still here. Let's upgrade Naples to the final government chambers. Let's get this rake over here to start causing problems for the French. I think Elias, you're going to go to Brest and hit these Spanish troops. However, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of this super annoying raiding Spanish force. Cheers everyone.